this is the balance part i will discuss in this video in the previous two videos we have uh, seen how the how the circuit breaker spring charging mechanism works how the trip circuit um, how the trip um, circuit breaker trip circuit and close uh, and uh, closing circuit uh, in detail uh, how, how those uh, uh, trip coil and closing coil of the circuit breaker uh, operates gets energized and then the auxiliary contacts will 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 clo close or trip the circuit breaker and also the indication indication lamps so in this video i will briefly discuss about the uh, about the uh, interface basically dcs interface dcs interface with the help of the auxiliary contacts of the circuit breaker and other auxiliary relays so here as you can see this is the this is the um, uh, 33 in service position this is breaker uh, this is one of the breaker auxiliary service contact so this mc contact is used to indicate that the circuit breaker is in service position and this signal is going to dcs or plc or any or remote remote panel so this uh, this wiring will be done so this this means this is the switch gear terminal so from this switch gear terminal uh, wiring wiring should be done uh, up to the dcs dcs panel so this contact is the circuit breaker in service position okay so and this is for the this is for the uh, breaker position is remote so this is the local remote selector switch uh, auxiliary contact that is a local remote selector switch in the switch gear panel so uh, if you put the uh, local remote selector switch uh, position in local then you can operate it from local uh, suppose during maintenance purpose uh, you can you can put the circuit uh, that uh, that uh, switch in local local mode and you can operate through um, local push button station LP, uh, that uh, LPB or the emergency push button station with the help of this and if it is uh, selected that uh, remote position this 43 position is selected in remote uh, and this signal is going to DCS or PLC then only the remote operation of the circuit breaker is possible that means in that case only you can uh, you can uh, issue the uh, trip or close a, a command to the switch gear uh, to close or trip the circuit breaker so this is very important so you need to uh, select the control switch position in remote and this is the feedback to uh, dcs or plc okay there is the spare contact for 30a and uh, 30b 30b this is the trip uh, trip contact this is going also for indication purpose this uh, this is also spare uh, so some spare contacts will be uh, made available for future activities uh, for future expansion okay so this is the main circuit breaker auxiliary contacts available here so only one contact we have used for the dcs or uh, plc communication you can see this is circuit breaker on okay and balance balance uh, auxiliary contacts are available but these are kept as spare for future uh, future use okay this is uh, limit switch spring charge so this is spring charge uh, uh, contact and this is for the motor motor uh, circuit breaker uh, motor spring charge uh, limit switch contact it is also going to dcs okay these are the contacts okay this is 86 86 is the main lockout relay this trip uh, uh, trip signal is going to dcs or plc and balance are the spare contacts here 74 74 is the trip circuit supervision relay so trip circuit healthiness um, uh, to check the trip circuit healthiness that indication will uh, will be communicated uh, to dcs or plc this is spare and uh, this is atb dc this is half fly uh, fail this is dc supervision relay 80 
and ATB contact this is ANO contact this contact is used for the DC supply supervision so uh, this signal is also going to DCS or PLC or the uh, remote panel so these are the typical signals we need to provide to control and instrumentation department that your DCS or your PLC uh, should be uh, so, uh, should have the provision to uh, to um, uh, to accept these signals from switch gear panel so circuit breaker uh, on a position uh, sorry circuit breaker on off status circuit breaker position whether it is in service or test whether the control uh, switch is in local or remote whether the um, motor spring charging mechanism that spring charging unit switch is okay or not whether the 86 this uh, trip um, lockout relay operated or not whether the supervision trip circle supervision relay is healthy or not whether the dc supply dc supply is healthy or or it is failed so all these all these informations will be uh, communicated to dcs or plc basically these are the di uh, these are the di signal that means digital input so with respect to DCS or PLC these are the uh, these are the DI uh, inputs so um, typically typically 9 10 or 11 or maybe sometimes 12 signals we, we need to consider as DI so these are the DCS interface uh, signal and contact details